can see, y'all can see this. And he asked me a question. Everyone knows that I've been a little busy lately. But uh, I, I just want everyone to understand that the most important thing on my plate, and always has been, is to abolish the Act 1871. That's straight up. There's been a lot of other things going on which has been corrected at this time. And I hope everyone else feels exactly the same way as I do. We have, me and the party that I'm talking to, which is Jim Lee, um, have reached uh, an impasse. And the bicker and the arguing is over between me and him. Um, I hope everyone understands that. And uh, we shook hands and walked our different ways. Now, I can't speak for everyone out there, and I'm not going to try. <coughs> That's their due diligence. Of how they want to handle this. But back to the original thing. He the, the the first part of this video that you saw, which I'm not showing now. Um, he was talking about different things. Well, on this particular page, it is uh, quite long. Oh yeah, and it may take a little while. So get your popcorn, your beer, and uh, you know, coke, whatever it whatever it takes. Cause it's gonna be a while. This is a good video right here. I don't know why it come up in a playlist. I'm gonna have to fix that, but the video will still be there. But folks, there's a lot of information. There's a lot of links on this page. Um, there's just a few videos. There's not many. Most of them talk about uh, the Act 1871, the, the reason why you're a corporate entity, and why it's very important for all of us in this country to learn to really get into the information and dig for the exact and correct answer for all things that are going on with our country we need to get those answers and we need to fix them. And we don't need to go and follow blindly into this hole that you see here on the right hand side. See those people that are running towards the hole? This was a TV commercial. I don't remember what it was for. And when I saw it, it's just made so much sense to what is happening to everyone. Most people watch way too much TV and they watch way too much mainstream media. And by doing so, you're falling into that hole. You really are. Are we always going to be slaves? Are you going to follow that same person if they walk off the tallest building in the world? Or fall into this black hole that has no bottom? Or does and you splat down there too? I mean, really, folks. It's time for us 
to really start working together. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart to all of you. And it's really time for all and everyone, trolls included, not talking about the bots which are fake and the ones that are using them. To make them say either rude or intelligent type responses. It doesn't matter. A bot's a bot, no matter what. I have nothing wrong with it except for it being wrong. It's kind of like taking steroids. Eventually, when you take steroids, if you do, it'll come back to haunt you in life. Will these same kind of bots that are steroids as well for YouTube going to come back to hurt you as well? Sure it is. Eventually. Because you have to stay in a certain realm for YouTube not to punish you by taking your channel away. And in a basic way, you're really doing yourself an injustice because you can't really push the truth. Not to a established point. But I don't want to be this person and I'm not this person. See the whole I'm not this person. I don't follow blindly into a hole. I put my brakes on when I see the crowd run into it. And I turn around and walk the other way. That's what all these people that are doing following in this hole should do turn around and walk the other way. But blindly they are walking with their eyes wide open. And yet they still fall in the hole. That's what we've been doing people for a hundred and forty years. Not of our own fault by no means. We've been led to this we were taught this. We wasn't taught the truth in our history the way it should have been taught to us. And some of the history that we're talking about now they don't even teach in school at all anymore. Or you're in the first or second grade talking about George Washington or Lincoln or someone like that and it's only the big names. You don't hear nothing about some of the other presidents at all. Just certain ones. Why is that? Why don't our kids really get a good history lesson about their constitution and the original one and the Organic Act of 1871? How many people out there do you know that don't know about it? And someone asked me more than once, several people, several people have asked me, well, what are we going to do about it? Well, the first step, the first step, and the only, is to wake the people up to it. So, I come up with a solution to that. And it's kind of funny, but it may work. When you go up to the window or through a drive through and you make an order, you can tell them that you want your order. And then at the end of the order, and say, I want the uh, PDF document for the Act of 1871. 
most of the time those people are young. They're going to be inquisitive and ask you what it means. Then you can give them a link or photocopy of the Organic Act of 1871 to really wake people up. Show them or just tell them and then let them embrace the words themselves. Eventually it'll sink in if enough people starts awakening others without conflict and distraction and stop believing every phony baloney story that comes out and I don't saying that it's bad to report a story I'm just saying it's not good to fall blindly into the hole don't just follow someone because you like the way they talk the way they act it's not what I'm saying at all learn what you can from all talk to all be friends and stop the arguing all of us have got to do that I'm guilty as well but in points and matter I'm only gonna take so much and I think you all know that by now the ones that listen to me and list you know watch my channel and I don't want the views to be mine and I'm not trying to be no great leader or popularity contest it's not it at all it's not it at all I want everyone not just me everyone in our country in the United States to be free I don't want them to be led by a corporation that is every day taking another dime out of your pocket to run some bogus or false propaganda scheme to get even more money against you so why is it that you know there's propaganda machines out there some of us call them bots, some of them call us robot, call it robots. Well, those are there too. But we also have some other folks that are sitting there with a computer. And there's one, maybe two, or maybe three people that are running those robots. And they're not on our side at all. It's a propaganda machine campaign that's been brought against us here on YouTube because there's too much free and good information here. But there's also a lot of disinformation. So if you are for freedom and you are looking for the truth, don't follow the same rat hole. Don't get into the same rat hole and follow it because if you do you're following these people into that hole you really are I talk about this a lot folks I really do and I'm not gonna stop talking about it because it's our future and it's our demise for our country if we don't correct it y'all all heard Barack Obama when he was doing his little war campaign for 
Iran, say our oldest constitutional democracy. How many of you out there can raise your hand to that and say we are a republic? How many of you that are not brainwashed out there to think that you're a democracy? In some aspects, in some aspects, hear my words, in some aspects, we are a democracy after the act of 1871. But that's not original and that's not supposed to be that way. So folks, I don't know what else I can say to help y'all along with this. I was going to show you the whole page and it is quite long. And if you have an old computer, um, you might need to set it there and let it just don't move nothing and let it set for a minute and let it load the page. It's mostly writing with links. There's a few videos at the beginning. But there is a ton of information on here. A bunch. There's so much that I can't even have a robot read it to you. It would be a seven hour video or so. But well, folks, I hope everyone out there that can hear this and really loves their country, and I mean really loves their country, will come to this page, which will be in the links in the below section, will come to this link and all the other ones that I have on the Act 1871. Do your own research. Please do. I want you to. You need to know your history fully and straight up. If you don't know your history, you only know what they tell you to do in your job. And did you understand the words that I just said? tell you what to do. Quit expecting people to tell you what to do. Know what to do. That's what you're there for, is to know what you're doing. If you can't know, learn. Don't let someone else that you think is a YouTube hero or what you would call a YouTube hero or a patriot or anything else from I'm talking any YouTuber including me do your own research be your own activist. Don't let just certain people do the work. We all have to do the work. We can't sit around and eat our popcorn and drink our beer and watch our football and our basketball and baseball and dances with the stars. We really have to work hard at what we do. I hope I changed some of your minds about your attitudes and willing to really work on the problem because folks if we don't work on this soon with the things that are going on our children and our grandchildren may not have a United States to live in. 
So with that, folks, much love to y'all. Y'all have a great day. And uh, no more falling in the holes. Have a great one.